Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Ebbe. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a cara beans bowl. You first of all you need to wash your beans. I prefer to use this method of washing my beans. Just a method of rubbing the beans with my mortar. Just rub it gently. Don't mind the way you are looking at it as if I'm pounding it. You're not pounding. You're just rubbing it on the body of the mortar to help it to wash out. So I continue with this process and in less than 5 minutes my beans was done. Then at this point it's time to remove the shaft, separate it from the beans. This requires a lot of water so you can do this in your sink. Okay. If you're not so picky like me, it won't take you less than 30 minutes to do this. But because I'm a very picky person, I don't like seeing this, those black eye beans. Black eyes chaff in my beans. So I took it one after the other to be able to get them all out. Okay. See, so rub it off with your hands. Add water wash and that is it less than an hour i was able to get this i'm still picking out the black eye from it look at all the shaft we got out from the beans now it is time to blend i soaked my beans for a while just to help the blade of my blender that will also prevent me from adding so much water when blending because akara does not need a lot of water in fact, you can, if you can blend this without water at all, it will be preferable. But because my blender is not that very strong, so I use water to blend, but a little water. Now blend, I'm trying to shake the blender so just to make sure and not add a lot of water in it. Continue blending look at that very smooth and with less water that is what we need so once one secret to this is when you finish blending the first batch just allow a little bit of it leave a little bit of it in the blender that will serve as a base and your liquid to blend the the ones that are the, the new ones okay so you just keep adding when you remove allow a little bit of it in the blender used as a base to blend the remaining one so i poured it in my mortar and using the same method i whisk it you can also use your mixer your electric mixer to do this the most important thing is to get in enough air into the piece now i added my scotch bonnet pepper my red bell pepper that is an all spicy then my onions blended it all and then I added it into the beans, okay? You keep on stirring it like that. So in a clean pot, I added my oil. 
added my oil to it. Added onions just to this serves two people for me to know if the oil is ready and also to add its flavor to the oil. So I'll be using that spoon to measure my or to scoop in my beans into the oil. <coughs> Avoid overcrowding your oil. You just do this gently. Because there is no too much water in there, the beans is not scattering. If there is too much water, the beans, once you put inside the oil, the beans will scatter all over the oil. when it is golden brown it is time then you know it's time to flip to the other side just allow it to be golden brown and i'm frying this on a medium to low heat just allow my beans to be able to cook properly you see you flip it flip 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 even the stubborn ones flip 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 even those that are watching that have not subscribed Please just flip your hand and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. That will encourage my video. Thank you. Keep on frying. And when it is all golden, you stir a little bit just to make sure that they are all golden all around. Then you know that your akara is ready. You remove them from the oil. You see that well fried akara. Well fried akara. So it's time to remove it from the oil. It is moist inside and crunchy outside. That is what we are looking for. I removed the onions because it has finished doing its work inside the oil. Repeat the same process of frying to the rest of the akara. Just the same way. But one more thing, once you remove your akara, as in once you finish scooping in some parts inside the oil, always before you scoop in a new one, always try to stir it again. Use your hand mixer or your mortar to beat it again. Because if you leave it like that, you'll be left with watery akara at the end. Because the beans, when you leave it and you're not incorporating any into it, it will start becoming watery. So each time you want to take in and scoop into it, Try to whisk it 
whisk it a little bit then before you add to your oil i hope get i hope you get me so each time after you finish adding this one you want to add the next one try to whisk it and incorporate air into it so as not to allow it to and as not to be left with a watery akara now it's time to flip 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 And this song we got, I served it with pap. Bye. See you next time. Thank you.